guys, I'm back. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys my thoughts on this um, It Cosmetics foundation in the shade Medium Tan and um, this It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Under Eye um, concealer. Um, this concealer I'm really interested to try out because it says that um, this concealer won't crease or crack and also it says it was developed with um, plastic surgeon, so I really want to see how this works out for me. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to try that out. So, yeah, if you guys want to know my thoughts on those two products, then continue on watching.
Okay, so now I'm just going to go and tell you guys what this foundation is about. Um, it's a color correcting full coverage cream and anti-aging and hydrating serum. It also has SPF 50 plus, which is a plus. Um, it says developed with plastic surgeons and dermatologists and it's cruelty free and um, it says tip to use as full coverage foundation apply one or two pumps to clean skin which is good because I want that full coverage now I know how many pumps so let's get into it okay um, this is what it looks like So I'm just going to apply one to two pumps like they said. One, two. Now I'm going to go in with my clean Real Technique um, brush and just... It smells super good. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but it just smells clean. <laughs> but a good... I feel like this foundation around my nose is catching onto my uh, dry patches. So I'm going to apply some moisturizing gel there and hopefully that will help. I was trying out this moisturizing gel so I'm just going to um, continue with that. It's the Clinique Dramatic Different Moisturizing Gel. And I'm just going to put this in the corners of my um, nose. Now I'm going to go into the Bye Bye Under Eye and it says it's a full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer so let's see how that works. I got the shade Medium. Wow okay that's really white. This coverage, like it's really thick. This um, concealer is really thick, which I don't mind. I just wish it was my shade. Okay, but now I'm just going to blend all of this out. Okay, so I'm just gonna contour my face. Now I'm just going to clean up my uh, contour and blend it all in. So I got um, a beauty blender or a real technique sponge and I'm just going to like blot it out because I feel like it's a little take some of the powders off and just um, kind of just smooth it out and just like, I don't know, maybe it'll help. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just going to dust um, off all the setting powder. Okay, 
Now I'm going to use my Chanel powder. What shade is this? Uh, medium beige. In these two shades. Just contour my nose. back into the shade of my palette and just put some eyeshadow underneath my eye. Now I'm going to go into my Laura Geller um, highlighter and just highlight my brow bone. Using this Milani um, lip color in the shade Matte Nude or Matte Naked. Now I'm going to highlight my face. I'm just going to apply some blush. God, I feel like a new person after each time I apply that face blush. It's just so um, refreshing. Well, thanks for watching this tutorial, guys. Bye. So, if you guys are wondering what I buy this foundation again. Um, I don't know because I need to know um, how this lasts throughout the day for me. But overall, I like it. I like the color. Um, I probably wouldn't buy the concealer again unless they come out with more shades because I think that one was just too, um, it looked too like, I feel like it was too pasty um, on me and it was just not the right color. But I would try it again if they came out with more shades. But this foundation, I, I'm leaning more towards that I would buy it again just because I like how it applied on me, how because I like how it came out. I think it's really um, flawless and it just looks really smooth and natural. And um, I need a foundation too that has um, 50 uh, SPF. Uh, but yeah, I think I would buy this foundation again, but I'll let you guys know otherwise if I end up not wanting to buy this again because somehow it just, just looks because somehow it just looks horrible later on. But um I doubt that. Um but yeah, so thank you guys for watching and I hope to talk to you guys soon in my next tutorial. Bye!